All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to send out a Happy Holidays email template from your Dynamics Pro. Now, of course, the first thing that you would wanna do is make sure that you have contacts in the system, and uh, you should have already set that up in your new partner workshop after you completed your new partner workshop. If uh, you haven't done that yet, there is a video tutorial on how to do this, and right here is Video Tutorials, and you're gonna click on Video Tutorials, and then you're going to scroll down, import my contacts basic, and this will show you a video on how to import your contacts into the Dynamics Pro. Then after you import your contacts into the Dynamics Pro, what you'll want to do is you will want to watch these two videos, um, and this will show you how to opt them in to sending, uh, so your Dynamics Pro can send them emails. Okay, so you have to be, you have to have them opted in, in order for them, uh, for the Dynamics Pro to send an email to your contact. So again, this is self-explanatory, and we also went over this in the New Partner Workshop. Uh, so I'm going to skip past that part, but that's very important that you want to have all your contacts in the system. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to go to your email template so you can see what is in the Happy Holidays email template. All right, so what you're going to want to do is you want to go to the top right hand corner over here where my mouse is going. And you're going to click on this drop down on samples. You're going to go in alphabetical order and you're going to find H for Happy Holidays. And here it is right here, Happy Holidays, and you're going to click it. And once you click it, there's going to be a little uh, thing over here that says it's going to cut, that's basically taking it from the samples over here into your templates. So I'm going to click on this, and then this will pop up in the bottom left-hand corner once it's transferred over there. There you go. Email template has been copied to your account. So it basically went from samples over to your active email templates. And again, it's in alphabetical order. You're going to scroll down and go to the H, and here is your Happy Holidays email template that went from your samples into your active email templates, and you're going to click on it. Once you're inside here, the first thing you'll see is name, and this just says Happy Holidays. Now your uh, the person who you're going to send this email to will not see the name, so you can name that whatever you want. Subject line. You could put uh, happy holidays, wishing you and your family um, a happy holiday, you know, whatever you want to put in your in the subject line. So this will be in the recipient's email inbox as the subject line. After you change that, you could just click on edit with content designer. When you do uh, click on this button, edit with content designer, it will save whatever you change the subject line or whatever you change the name to. So I'm going to click on this. And now it's just loading it up. All right, so you have your Happy Holidays header right here. And then right here is a video that's uh, already put in there for you. Now, if uh, you don't want to use this particular video um, or you just want to see what this video is, you have to click on this block. So this is called a block. So just left click on the block. Or if you're ta on your tablet or your, uh, I'm sorry, your, uh, your laptop, you just click down on your mouse pad, or the trackpad, I guess is what they would call it. And then if you wanted to see what this video um, you know, is, you could just click over here, highlight this URL or the address, right click and copy, and open up a new web browser. And all you gotta do is paste that into a new web browser, and then it's gonna load up. And of course, YouTube has ads, so it's probably going to show up an ad on here, most likely. Aqua de Gio. Okay, I'm going to skip this ad. And you can just kind of click through here. And just and it's from Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. So um, 
but let's just say that you uh, wanted to find something else. So you, you could even put uh, classic Christmas music or whatever you want to type in there. So you do classic Christmas music. And if you wanted to, you could put this two hours of classic Christmas, the top songs of all time. So if this is more of what you want, and you could uh, right click and copy that. And now that, um, now if you want to find this particular one, it's called Two Hours of Classic Christmas Music, Top Christmas Songs of All Time. So you can pause this video and write that down. And then you go up here and just go to the search and paste in this exact same thing and look for music box channel and that'll show this video. Okay, so if I want this video, I just go up to the top where the address bar is and copy this address bar or this address or URL. I'll go back to the Dynamics Pro and I'm gonna delete what's in there and then I am gonna paste the new video in there. Now it doesn't switch out yet and to get it to switch out, all you gotta do is click outside this box. I'm gonna click and then it's gonna take that and put it in there all right so up here in the upper right hand corner to save your changes you'll just click on this blue button up here that says save changes and maybe you want to type in a message down below this video so if you do what you can do is you can go to um, content again so just click on this content tab right here and then all you have to do is click and hold down your button and then drag this text down where you want uh, want it to have a text box. So uh, this blue line now has shown up. So now that that's there, it's gonna if I release it, it's gonna put the text box in, the text box in there. And you just highlight what's in there, and then we wish you and your family a merry Christmas. You know, whatever message you want in there. And then if you want to, you could highlight this. You go up to this little font and you could change it to whatever font that you want. Here is the te uh, the font size. So if I click on the drop down and this is still highlighted, I can make it 20 pixels, you know, whatever you want. If you want to highlight it, you can go here and you can also change the font color to anything that you want. All right. And then down here's your footer, so that's where your email signature will automatically populate in there. Now some people say, all right, well if I'm sending an email blast out to my 300 some contacts, I want their first name to be in there, so it'll be a little bit more, um, a little bit more, um, I don't know, uh, personalized. So if you want to insert their first name, all you have to do is do percentage percentage first name and hey and um, you want to make sure that this first name, this is all one continuous thing. There's no space in between the percentages. Um, there's no space in between first name. It's all one continuous thing. So um, if my name is Nathan, it will automatically insert Nathan. We wish you and your family a Merry Christmas. So if I have my first name in there, you just put in we, or you could put in I wish so Nathan I wish you if you want to put a little comma right there you can put a comma and then it'll automatically put their first name in there or you can just keep it general and just take that out and then once you have your message in there hit save changes done editing And then you'll go up to, um, oh, before you do that, before you go up there, you want to click on save. That way it saves your changes right here. So like whatever you typed in down below, if you did, you want to click save. Very, very important. Once you save your email template, it's time to send it out in an email blast. You're going to click on client touch up here at the very top. So right up here is where client touch is. All right, so once you're in client touch, you can click on email blast right here. 
or actually what you want to do is you want to click on add everyone this button right here up in the top right hand corner click on add everyone once you click on add everyone it's going to show all your contacts in the work group you're going to click on this email blast right here click email blast and then this is gonna say you should run the email opt-in wizard before sending this email blast because you may not have opted in your contacts just yet so if you haven't uh, you go ahead and run the email opt-in wizard I understand and agree and continue you absolutely have permission and add to opt-in list and basically um, it's gonna add everyone in there now you will notice there if there is still a little um, if there is still a little uh, warning sign right here you can go down to the bottom and you'll see that there is 41 people out of the 354 that are unknown and usually this has to do with a messed up email address or maybe there's no email address so if you want to see what those are before you send this out you could click on this list contacts right here and then we'll start with this first one Jose Anderson and let's see what's wrong with the email so already I could tell that it looks like there's a space between Jose and the at symbol so if I click on edit contact right here I'm just gonna type in Jose now you want to make sure this is all lowercase right here so there we go and now to opt this person in all I have to do is click on their um, email address right here because you can tell it's gray it's not green so it's not opted in click and then opt in and then close go back to your contacts alright so now you see that disappeared because you corrected it so now you'd go to the next one and there's another space okay so you just basically keep on doing this and again you want to make sure Ron is all lowercase G and then the C is capitalized so backspace C hit save click opt-in there we go and all right so it looks like they had opted out at one point at one point so Ron Bailey had opted out of emails all right so now that you have that in there you want to click on client touch all right I'm not gonna do it that for every single person but that's basically how you would correct it and then we're just gonna to go to email blast again after we go to client touch I'm gonna skip this because I'm not gonna correct every single one of them all right so now it's gonna say all right well what email template do you want to send out and I'm gonna click on this drop down and I'm gonna find my happy holidays okay so let's see here it's in alphabetical order happy holidays it's under my templates so if you wanted to you could always do this drop down and then find your templates if it's in there or you could just scroll down like I just did and find the happy holidays click on it there we go now again down here you could hit send blast now which will send your email blast now or you can even schedule the blast so if you want to send it first thing in the morning uh, on you know Christmas then you could send it that if you want to send it uh, the night before um, or if you want to send it now so whatever you want and then you will just click one of those buttons and then you'll send it and that's how you can send your happy holiday email template